These were lazy days aboard the Black Pig while it lay tied up in Portobello. As Tom had cleaned and stocked up the pirate ship ready for its next voyage, even he had a few hours to spend with his best friend, Tony, at the cafe. Couldn't. Hey! I could be a cabin boy. You wouldn't last five minutes. It's hard work. No, what I do is hard work. Carrying a few plates from the kitchen to the tables. Just face it, you could not do my job. Anyway, the captain would never allow it. Let's ask him. You seriously think the captain would give you my job? Sure. I'm going to go see him. The job is cabin boy. You're a girl. I won't be by the time I see Captain Pugwash. You'll see. I'm not looking for a new cabin boy. Well, I do cook very well. Let me whisk something up in the kitchen for you. Gally. But that's only one part of the job. Perhaps a little avocado and seafood? No, it's out of the question. Tom would be most put out. Lobster. Served with a hollandaise sauce? And uh, we're all very uh, attached to the lad. <laughs> What's the pudding? Chocolate profiteroles with a uh, fudge, cream and caramel sauce. Caramel sauce? <clears throat> if I take you on as my cabin boy, what's Tom going to do? I found him a job already. You could just give me a trial for one voyage. You won't have to pay me. Well, perhaps the change wouldn't be such a bad thing after all. Now, about this fudge cream and caramel sauce. You can't go. What will Madame Pigal say? She's okay. I told her I'm going on vacation, which is kind of true. Who's going to do your job? Why, you. It's easy. Just carrying a few plates from the kitchen to the table. Wait a minute. You don't know anything about being a cabin boy. I'll learn. Bye. Tom, quick, in the cuisine. Tom discovered that Tony's job was harder than he'd ever imagined. Meanwhile, the black pig set sail with a new cabin boy and mixed feelings. Tony Laird, can you take over the wheel? I think you steer much better than I could, Mr. Mate. Yes, obviously. So it's probably best if you do it. Eeny, meeny, miny, Tony, which one should I pull? I think you should find out for yourself, Willie. Oh, right. How about this one? Oh, wait! Now you've learned something. You won't do that again. Oh, yes, he will. I've got to go and cook the captain's dinner now. No good will come of this new cabin boy. Mark my words. <laughs> I asked for the halibut. Sorry, madam. Uh, sir. Your halibut, sir. Oh, no. What are you doing here? This is my new job. You mean you've left that old fool pugwash? For the moment. What can I get you, sir? Food! And plenty of it! <laughs> What's this? Salad. But it's green. We don't eat greens. It's mighty good for you. Now you'll eat up while I go get the lobster. Lobster? He's making us eat lobster. I'm too tired to eat. We never had to do all this work when Tom was our cabin boy. You've got to speak to the captain, Mr. Mate. This can't go on. You will, Captain Jake. I'm not finished yet. I'll have 12 more chocolate ice cream cakes. And I want them quick. You want more fudge sauce, Captain? <laughs> I couldn't. Well, if you twist my arm... There's plenty more in the kitchen. Gally. <laughs> I'll just get it for you. Sorry to interrupt, Captain. I think I know why you're here, Mr. Mate. You want to congratulate me on employing this new lad, Tony. It's just so we like Tom. I like Tom, but he was clearly never really up to the job. Say when. Perhaps we should buy a larger jug next time we're in port. Was there anything else, Mr. May? You will, uh, No, Captain. Good night. Oh, no. Captain Jake! Oh, 
If I'm quick, I can get to the Flying Dustman before them. Aww, this Tony expects us to do all the work. Ah, uh, we can't go on like this. It's not right, eh? Know what I mean? Maybe if he did a bit more of the work, he wouldn't enjoy being cabin boy and we'd get young Tom back. Tony said that I should be doing the steering. Tom never said that. What? Who's steering right now? I don't know. Tony! Tony! What now? Come in, Mr. Mate! There's no one steering the ship. We could be anywhere, blown off course, adrift. I was doing the dishes. Steering the ship's rather more important. Is that clear? Yes, Mr. Mate. But which way? Which way? You're supposed to know which way. I is it kind of the way we're going? Dear, oh dear. Tom never had to ask which way. Keep hold of that wheel till I tell you otherwise. Yes, Mr. Mate. Night, Tony. See you tomorrow. When you bring our breakfast. That be real good value, that place. <laughs> it is when you don't pay, eh, boys? <laughs> Your bill, Captain Jake. Did I forget to pay the bill? You did? I don't have no money on me right now, but I will after I've taken all that old fool Pugwash's treasure. Tell you what, why don't you come along with us? Take him on board, me oh, some go, 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 go. Isn't it just crap of annoyance? Tom! Tony, you've got to help me. This is no time to do your hair. Cutthroat Jakes captured the black pig. But I know what we can do. Something I saw today. <laughs> I blame Tom. This is all his fault. But Tom weren't on board, Captain. Exactly. Never there when he's needed, that boy. <sighs> Nothing like starving a ship to give you an appetite for breakfast. <laughs> <gasps> no! No! Oh, good plan! Do you want to find the captain? No! You go! I've had enough of doing your job! Tom released the crew of the Black Pig. Captain Pugwash left Jake and his crew marooned allowing him to seize all his arch-enemy's treasure, by which time the hard-working pirates were starving. Jake defeated his treasure in our coffers. <laughs> what an outstanding piece of tip-top and top-hole captaincy. Hi there, Captain. We've been busy in the kitchen. Galley? OK, Galley. Look, sea bass with a coolie of raspberry and ginger. <sighs> Look at that, me hearters. Very uh, interesting. Or oh, you might prefer one of my specials. Hey! Oh. Can you tell the captain, Tom, I won't be coming back? Oh, he'll be very disappointed, but if that's what you want. Yeah. How about you? Do you want a job here? No, 
No, thanks. It's far too dangerous. Which reminds me, can you give this to Madame Pigal? It's the money Jake owed her for the meal. I sort of found it on the Flying Dustman. You can give it to her yourself. She's in the galley. Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe I could be a kitchen.